everyone I wonder how this actually sounds over the speaker over me talking be pretty funky but again just have a couple of minutes that I've been fiddling a little bit because I had it's it's one of my few days off I think Christmas unfortunately has become the day only for me but for many others Merry Christmas everyone Wait a second, it is Christmas. Why am I wearing a wrestling t-shirt? I'll be right back, folks. There we go. That makes me look a little bit more presentable. Yes, it is the Christmas season. I know it's Christmas. Because this sweater comes out once a year when I go to the Midnight Mass over at my church to celebrate Christmas. Or as some of us vibe a little bit too much because we're doing terrible things. And we're hobos. Today is also drunk miss. Merry, merry drunk, Miss Everyone. Not actually liquor this time. I still have to go to church and drive. Remember, if you're going to drive, or if you're going to drink, don't drive. And if you are going to drive, don't drink. So again, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Merry Christmas or a Merry Drunk, Miss. My name is Hobo Tom. And you're watching the Hobo and his girlfriend Drunkness special. Remember, ladies, if you want a special Christmas next year? This guy's available. Um, so I think this is the first time in five years I haven't had to do anything. So it's kind of feeling weird, but good at the same time. It's nice not being stressed out about stuff. Oh, I do have to clean up the house a little bit. But I don't have to make a big meal. But on the Tuesday Night Smackdown review on Christmas Day, you'll see how this guy, you'll go into the Hubbo Kitchen and watch this guy make a bacon cheeseburger Wellington. That should be pretty good. I'm here to, to talk about this show right now. This is my Drunkness special. Again, Merry Drunkness, everyone. We had a really special card today. It was really fun. Uh, some shocking things happened. The first match of the evening, we have Corporate Tom, the man who's killed all holidays because he says, get back to work. He takes on Santa Claus, the bringer of joy. Then the next match, we have... I forget which I get the match right now. I think it's the ladder match. For the best girlfriend ever belt, we have Gigi Heather, the champion, versus oh, 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 evil Becky Lynch. You know she's evil because she's wearing just black and white. And the majority of it's black. Then the next match, you have the Cupid Connection versus the Dudley Boys. Oh, the previous match was a ladders match in honor of Becky Lynch's amazing. TLC uh, ladder match. In the next match, we have the Cuba Connection versus the Dudley Boys in a Dudley Boys specialty as a Christmas gift to Cuba Connection as a tables match. Then you have a three way for the always underweight championship between Crazy Liam, Aiden Awesome, and Taj. And then another special Christmas match. We have Diamondback Jack Maverick taking on. Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. John Cena! And will Hobo Tom make an appearance tonight? Again, watch and see. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, Merry Christmas and Merry Drunkness to all. And to all, much boost. And may Santa give you always what you need and maybe what you want. And again, Merry Christmas, everyone. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank everyone. And again, wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Hello and welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Christmas Spectacular. 
Well, what match is this? Here we have in the DBELW, which is, I have, to, I have to make like production stuff soon, but this is the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. So here we have Corporate Tom coming down to the ring. Of course, he had to work today. Because, I mean, he's the corporate man. He doesn't care if it's Christmas Eve. It's time, time to get back to work. As far as he, as far as he knows, he's probably still working. Get back to work! Don't get Christmas off. Well, you have to get Christmas off. But wait, who is this? To what do what my wandering eyes do appear? It's time! It's time! It's Santa time! Whoa! Santa Claus! Or as best as I could figure out how to make him. Which is pretty darn bad. Let's see, I gotta adjust this just a little bit. There we go, there's Santa. Yes! And jolly old Chris Kringle. He has to light his way. It's, it's pretty dark out there. He seems to keep all those unsavory types away. He's trying to see if you've been naughty or nice all year long. Therefore, he's carrying that lantern. up. Nope, he dropped the lantern. He's, he's getting ready for a match. So this is, again, kind of a classic match setup. It's a fun opening match for a happy drunk miss celebration. Again, since they're having fun, he has his, his fireworks going. And this is one of, right now, four matches. Kind of some, some dream match setups. So, Uh-oh. Oh! Who would just punch Santa Claus? What kind of person is this? Is, is Corporate Tom going to kill Jolly Old St. Nicholas? Oh, no! That cannot be good. What kind of pants are Santa wearing? Obviously, this crowd cares more about corporate America than they do Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Oh, he just sends them right into the barricade. Corporate Tom says, I'm not having this. Bring this back in the ring. Oh! in the head! Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. Oh, Could you ever see a weakness in your well, opponent? I got it. Jump on. I have good at finishing. Uh-oh. Oh, the corporate headbutt. Yeah, it's probably one of the most feared moves. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. Get out of my ring, Santa. Hey, he's going for it. Oh wow again. He's trying to kill Santa Claus. This is this is horrible. Kids, kids, do not watch this. Oh Santa might be dead. There might be no Christmas. Let's see here. These idiot fans, this must be in Philadelphia. Because who else would cheer Santa Claus getting beat up? Come on, come on, face a hard can. You don't know what you're doing. Yes. Yes. I have destroyed Santa. I am the greatest. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. You wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Out of the way. Come on, fat man, get up. Signature maneuver here? Oh! I don't know 
honestly forgot what his finisher is. Oh, looking to make a statement here. There's the cover. Can he do it? I think he's got it. Oh! <gasps> What was that, folks? Did we just see Santa lose? Christmas as we know it is cancelled by corporate song. What the? This, this is not good for children all across the world to be watching. This should be rated triple PG or something. Oh, and he got the pin. Huh? Oh. He just stacked up Santa there. Santa got jacked up. It's no Christmas. Everyone get back to work. Get back to work. Yes. Yes. You get back to work. Yes. Okay, here we are back for the main event of the night. Wait a second. Oh, yes, there's a whole bunch of title matches. And it's one match, so we have all three titles. Right now, this is this is for the bestest girlfriend ever belt, and here we have the champion, the BGE champion. I love the names I give these belts. Whoa! Did she just? Good girl Heather, look at that. Tra very traditional wear though. Like good girl Heather. So so who could she possibly wind up facing? I don't know. Let's let's, let's see who who are Oh 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 dressed in all black, that means only one thing. We are getting the best Becky Lynch ever. We are getting the evil Becky Lynch. You can always tell she's evil. She's a, she's a heel Becky Lynch because she's dressed in all black. She's not giving away her goggles. She runs to the ring. She's like, you loser. I pinned you at the last big event, which was the Drunks Giving match. It's my turn to take that belt away from me. And of course, there's a whole other subplot going on because Gigi Heather and, and Hobo Tom broke up, so. So obviously, we're going to see what happens during this match. This should be really interesting. Oh, again, Becky Lynch. She... Okay, here we are back for the main event of the night. Wait a second. Oh yeah, so there's a whole bunch of title matches. And it's one match, so we have all three titles. Right now, this is, this is for the bestest girlfriend ever belt. And here we have the champion. The BGE champion. I love the names I give these belts. Whoa, did she just... Good girl Heather, look at that. Tra very traditional wear though. Like good girl Heather. So so who could she possibly wind up facing? I don't know. Let's let's, let's see who who are Oh 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 dressed in all black, that means only one thing. We are getting the best Becky Lynch ever. We are getting the evil Becky Lynch. You can always tell she's evil. She's a, she's a heel Becky Lynch because she's dressed in all black. She's not giving away her goggles. She runs to the ring. She's like, you loser. I pinned you at the last big event, which was the Drunks Giving match. It's my turn to take that belt away from me. And of course, there's a whole other subplot going on because Gigi Heather and, and Hobo Tom broke up, so. So obviously, we're gonna see what happens during this match. This should be really interesting. Oh, again, Becky Lynch. She... And remember, this is a ladder match too, folks. What's on the line here? It's all academic from here. 
So again, because of the stellar match, oh, look what dirty tactics this good girl Heather using. Becky Lynch with a snap well, suplex. Match here. This is a Becky Lynch is just going absolutely evil. Oh, wait a second. Oh, through the, through the ladder! So you want to see, see bad girl versus good girl? Yeah, check this out. Oh! Oh! What, what is Becky trying to do? Incoming! I just can't get over what we saw! That was so great! You can see the confidence just beaming for her right now. Uh oh, here we go! Here we the Bex Bloater again! Oh! So, yeah. You know what? You obviously don't care for your boyfriend that much. Every time she has to get back to her feet, it takes more and more effort. Wait, you want some more? Could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Like she was taking that big home run swing. Woo! Woo! Uh oh. What are we going to see here? Got out of the way of that one. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. Executed perfectly, and check out the look of satisfaction in those eyes. Mon Evil, oh, just being vicious. Remember, you don't, know, oh, oh. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time. The heck is. WWE event live, just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. Oh, the multiple. The Headbutts! What has happened to good girl Heather? Headbutting a downed opponent! Oh! Oh, it can't end like this. Man, just choking Becky Lynch in the corner. What kind of good person tactics are these? Oh! Well, I, when did I give her that move set? There doesn't seem to be any slowing her down now. Oh my, look at this! Oh, Becky might be dead, but the problem is she's in the middle of the ring. Not this. Thanks for coming. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have ladder and flesh both appear in first condition. She appears to be extra slow regaining her base. Making it to the top of the ladder may be the easy part. Once you start working on it, here's your winner. Oh, Becky lost. 
She still has her belt. Look, look at the way she's staring at that belt. Look at the way she was looking at that belt. The belt that was very, very champa esque. Are you seeing a, a heel turn now? She's like, boom! Just battering poor Becky Lynch. And the way she was looking at the belt, like it was talking to her. Oh, wow, folks. This has been a pretty exciting card so far. Okay, this is my Christmas gift to El Sicario and... I always forget. I was, I said, um, it's a Cuba connection. It's, their, it's my Christmas gift to them. You have El Sicario. I think with the flag with, with the mask with the red eyes. And Io de Tequila del Sol, the one with the tattoo of the sun over his chest. Again, the white mask with the blue eyes. I think that's him. This is my Christmas gift to them. They, they, they missed their opportunity once. To wrestle Dudley Boys, but you know what? Here at the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League Wrestling Show, which is, I guess, the main event here in Daytona Beach, here at the Daytona Beach Civic Center, which would probably be nowhere as full as that stadium is up there, they get their little Christmas gift. And they're gonna face the one and the only. Da, da, da. Dudley Boys! So I guess Daytona Beach has become Dudleyville. And remember, this is a specialty match. This is actually a tables match. Again, I wanted to give them kind of special, kind of my Christmas gift to them. And the the the, 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 the 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 Dudley boys. The three D baby. the table. There's the airplane spin though. It's all academic from here. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging from the fences. Now that's how you make a statement. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, looking to put it into this one. And he gets out of the way. Setting up. Wow, the Cuban connection is looking pretty strong today. That's it. He's out. Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, my. What a move. Oh, the rake of the eye. Matchups like this have been a staple of main events since the program stayed you back in 2012. Uh oh, could someone be get a table set up, folks? Oh well, the one, the one missed. Oh! Yeah, 
He's starting to stagger a bit, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. And you know what? I would have it no other way. Hey, he's going for it again. Dodges to the side of that one. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope oh! Put it in the book. This one's got to be over now. Throws it to a matter of time now. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. This match has taken so much out of this guy, he's not gonna give up. But man, this has been physical. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Going for the big one. Looks like another check in the win column. There may be no fighting out of this. Well, thanks for coming. Extra slow getting back to his base here. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There is a table set. There's one table set up on the outside. Oh. Oh, it should be over. Yes, the Cuba Connection won. El Sicario took Bubari outside. Oh, look at all this chaos. That was good. That was a good match, actually. That was fun. You would have been proud of that one. <laughs> El Sicario. Oh, they're, 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 they're getting used to the WWE way of working. I mean, that's the only, that's the only reason, because they were, like, losing to the Lucha Dragons. Now well, they have two big wins, and they have momentum. They're like, yes. You did it. Oh, the nation. Well, the, the Cuba connection. But, yeah, look at him. Look at him. He's like, yeah, get up, get up, get up. Come on, this is awesome, man. woo -hoo! We won two matches in a row. This card is just flying by, folks. This has been actually a really fun card. I forgot, I forgot that he was the always underweight champion. Yeah, I like the way we did these. I, I like the way we did these belts. <laughs> I did a good job making him too. That's a that's like a few hours. It's worse than mass. Printer vision. I don't think this is computer screen safe. Shaking more the, the ring ropes or his arms. Hey, remember, this is for the always underweight champion. <laughs> this is one of the final moments. Yeah, the Keller brothers of Aiden Awesome and, and Crazy Liam. All that can go out the window, though, once you put a belt on the line. They've had some bad blood in the Keller family. I mean, Hobo Tom just, just busted open Aiden English. 
who at one time was the Under the Bridge champion. And then he is technically a cruiserweight. Whoa. What are the boobies on her? Wait a second. I think you've heard clear. I've never noticed that before. Gee, I'm noticing all these things. I like don't have. Belt goes up. Liam Keller. Whoa, that's awesome. I should put the new one. There he is. Top here. How am I finding weapons? Oh, this guy has a guitar. My belt. This could be over quick. Got one for you too. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? Crotch right to the face. Good Lord, he's just hell bent on naming his opponent. Where's, who, who, where's that fat bastard with that guitar? He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete, such a, an important superstar. Got my belt. Give me my belt. This might be it. That's it. He's out. Is that it? And he escapes with a kick out. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Oh, it's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. Wow. If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Championship matches, the title cannot change hands by count out the winner's qualification. Yeah, that's why they call it the championship advantage. You can look great counter. What a reversal avoids the impact there. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. It's just a matter of time now. Do you want this? Can't have this. Ooh, a little showboating going on. Ouch, she's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. That title may need a good polish job after this. This guy's a machine. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging from the... Oh, into the top turnbuckles. Oh, he's obviously hooked. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Man, that one rocked him. Whoa, whoa! You gotta believe this one's over. Look out! This might be it! Uh-oh. You know what happens if one of the Keller boys wins? They're gonna, they're gonna have to sell this for a hobo way in a steel cage. Will this do it? He's in perfect position. Complete control. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. There may be no stopping him. Who else has a weapon? Back between the ropes. Let's see if we can keep it between the ropes. We've had enough of this on the floor action. I'm not comfortable when they're this close to me. 
Oh, Todd just busted open, folks. Oh, on to the top rope. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Wow. It doesn't get much better than that right there. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. He is a great athlete, but he's been doing a tremendous amount of damage outside. And he gets out of the way. What a counter that was. I don't have to be objective as an announcer, but you hope they're being careful. I mean, that's not exactly what oh. people have done. Good Lord. I feel this gets more dangerous with every step. Watch out up there. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do from the top? The heck was that? Someone's going to throw another table. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do? Oh, this is ridiculous. Those are our notes you're stepping on. This is our workspace here. We're, we're, we're surrounded by ruffians here, apparently. Well, we had our materials for tonight's broadcast. Oh, well. Get some air here. I need some to it. sit next to you. I am the gang. This is I am the gang. Oh. Uh oh. Does does Liam see it though? Does Liam see that weapon? Very well ended. Good creep. 
Oh, yeah, wait a second. What's he going to do up there? Whoa! I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be good. Oh, one of the most effective moves in all of WWE. Cole, what do you got in mind? This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. You're right. A championship opportunity doesn't come around all that often. you got to make the best of it. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The oh! That slams him right to the side of the head. He's delivering an old-fashioned boot kicking right here. Oh, not again. Not again. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some incredible. This has to be it. That's it. He's done. Here he comes! Looks like he's setting him up for something big here. Uh-oh, high grandma's eyes! This might be tough to watch! And he dodges that one. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot! No hesitation there. This one's all business. Oh, my. Put the medics down here. Another shot. Who will never be the same after this match? Who would do this? Who would do this to another man? What a matchup. This one continues to go back and forth. Oh, not again. Not again. Oh, my. Put the medics down here. Oh, sledgehammer to the ribs. He may have broken his ribs. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. That's it. He's out. He's in big trouble. Dodges to the side of that one. Incoming. Everyone's down. Oh, wow. This isn't a good match. The champion is in serious jeopardy here tonight. I don't think I've ever seen a more determined challenger. Oh! Pile driver. Huh? He snuck in! Oh, wow! Sneaky! A sneaky win! Taj reclaims the always underweight champion. That guy's a good face. This is just going to be fun.
Yeah, and Merry Christmas, Diamondback Jack. The Under the Bridge Championship. Look at that, so good though. The towel, the vest, the tattoo, the belt, the cowboy boots. That looks good. That was a good creation of mine. Or good creation of my friend, Diamondback Jack Maverick. Merry Christmas, Diamondback Jack. Here's your Christmas gift, just like I gave to the Cuba Connection. I am their dream match. Here is kind of one of your dream matches, I guess, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. That's right, how am I gonna do this? He's Jesus, no nonsense right there. Looks like he's gonna punch someone in the face. <gasps> no way! Why would John Cena ever in a million years show up to the Daytona Beach? The Daytona Beach bum fight wrestling league. I have to figure out, I have to figure out, I have to do production work. Something. Never give up, eh? John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. <laughs> I don't think the crowd is actually chanting anything. The crowd's hot though for him. They were always hot for him. Will we see the sixth move of Doom tonight, folks? My entrance was better. Marrying him single. The chant is here. So that's, that's right, ladies. Holo Tom single, too. Again, you saw what happened. His girlfriend turned heel. Dude, I made that belt look nice. Diamondback Jack Maverick. That's actually a pretty darn good looking belt. Let's get one more take one more look at that beautiful belt that I created. The Under the Bridge Championship. The world, the USA flags, the side plates. Oh! Classic Matt Wrestling technique. There may be no stopping him. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, he's not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The breeze may give him a goal. Oh, wait, nice reverse. Not this. He's looking at it again. That's it. He's out. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. But I know this. The fans of the WWE, both here and at home, are all fired up for this one. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Remember, folks, the belt cannot change hands on a count-up. WWE Magazine out this month, and you'll find some interesting articles in there about all the superstars here in WWE. Who do you get to read the magazine to you, Cole? Oh, wait, 
each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. Oh! Pile <laughs> Driver won! Did he just steal his move? He's looking a little weary here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. You know, this match is far from over, Michael, and it can really go either way at this point. Yeah, I don't think there's a clear-cut favorite right now. Regardless, we and the rest of the WWE world are in for a night to remember. Step over toehold! Applied! Just hitting. Resiliency there. We're looking at complete domination here. Not today, too fast. This match may end right here. That's it. He's done. Here's a cover. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Oh, ho, ho. Holy cow, we have a new champion. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. You gave up to a full Nelson? Folks, what, what kind of Christmas is this? We saw Corporate Tom beat. Oh, and he's hugging my belt. He's talking to it. him out in the backstage segment. He threw him through tables. Hobo oh, Tom just smoked John Cena. What the heck was that about? He's wearing his tidy white underwear and he just jumped John Cena. Wow, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, the next special I'm going to do is probably going to be my New Year's special. 
Uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of new matches come up. Um, Gigi Heather will probably defend her belt against someone. Um, the Cuba Connection, they are on a roll. They're doing good, so they're going to be featured on the next card. And again, you have the always underweight champion, always has to be defended at any pay-per-view. And what is this beef between Hobo Tom and John Cena? Hobo Tom just mugged John Cena and stole his belt from him. We shall see probably in another week. Again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned, probably because I'll be posting this on Christmas Day. And probably for my SmackDown review, you'll also see me make one of my 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 own hobo my own hobo dinner of cooking with a hobo. It's going to be a bacon cheeseburger Wellington with fries on top of again it's bacon cheeseburger. So you'll you'll see what it looks like. Again, Merry Christmas, Merry Drunk Miss Everyone, or for those who aren't hobos, Merry Christmas. God bless. Merry Christmas. Bye.